Hey guys, how's it going? It is October 20th, 2018, doing another video. It's a vlog, Saturday night. Looks like someone's having a fire. I like that smell. I'm going to the school park. I'm not going to stay there too long because it's getting dark and we're all the stupid people hanging out at nighttime. <sighs> I don't know. And when I go home, I'm probably going to stop at Tim's. Get a nice cup or whatever. I've changed my pocket. Jets played this afternoon. They won 5-3. It was a good game. Glad they won. First period, they were a little bit sloppy. Second period, they were better. Third period was good. It was okay. Rassois played another great game. You know he lost three goals. Eh, eh, at least, eh, who cares? At least he played good, though. Morrissey had a great game. Truba had a great game. Wheeler broke out of his scoring drought. Who else scored? Uh, Lowry scored. Man, he's already having a good season, man. I went to the game against the Canucks on Thursday. Yeah. I told you about it. You probably saw the videos. Two games in a row, we had to deal with crappy officiating from the referees and linesmen, mostly the refs. Last game against Vancouver, a uh, so, couple of the penalties were like weak. And on Vancouver, there's some penalties that should have been on them, but they weren't called. I think there's one in the second period, a uh, Canucks player forgot who it was, but he closed his hand on the puck while he was still laying on the ice. I mean, come on, it was, like, it was like more than two seconds, I remember. At least around two seconds. I don't know. You, you can only close on for like like just half a second. I don't know. First period. Uh, yeah, crappy officiating again. Crap. I mean, some of the calls they made sense. Uh, they were penalties. Yeah, but there's just uh like late in the first period. I forgot who it was, but they. Someone tripped uh, Shifley, like hooked Shifley, and he tripped him, and they didn't even call it. Oh. And some people were writing on Facebook, any referee who helps a team win over another team deserves to get fined after the game. Fucking right they do. Batman. Some people say Batman is like the reason, um, Batman is the reason why we get crappy officiating from, against us, because we're a Canadian team and Arizona's American. Yeah, it may feel like it, but, eh. Well, there's teams that won. Buffalo won against the Canes 5-1. I need Buffalo to win. And I got Jeff Skinner in my fantasy pool. I'm glad he got a hat trick. Stupid how Carolina traded him in the first place. Yeah, he may have, may have had an off season, but who cares? So, could bounce back the next day. And they traded him for a prospect, Cliff Poo. <laughs> Cliff took a poo. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. I think I heard, it, like, Keynes fan, I heard, uh, like, somebody made a website to fire John Stevens, their Keynes head coach. I was like, whoa. You make a website over like firing a coach or whatever. I was like, oh shit, dude. <sighs> yeah. I don't think the Kings are going to do well this season, to be honest. I still think their defense and goaltending will do okay. I still think their goaltending will do okay, but I still think Quick is a good goalie. Campbell's a great backup. Well, I think they have two backups Jack Campbell and Peter Budai. I think Budai's in their HL team. I think the offense is starting to slow down too. And Kovalchuk, yeah, he's in the 35. He starts to slow down in your thir like late 30s. Early 30s, you're still kind of in good shape though. I don't know. I don't think Detroit is like the only. I think Detroit's the only team that hasn't won a game yet. That sucks. I, don't think, I think they're going to be a dumpster fire too. Well, not too bad though. I think their goal tank kind of sucks. Same with their defense. The offense is okay, but because Larkin's a great guy, 
Who else do they have? Zadina, I think he's in an HL team. Zetterberg retired, which is bad. I guess he's getting old. And he was facing too much injuries. Yeah. What's well, with our party in the house? <laughs> I usually like, have a peek inside. I know it's kind of like kind of creepy, but for sure we all do it. But yeah. Uh, I don't know what to say. My next Jets game is in December against the Oilers. Hopefully we'll win that one. But if we lose, eh. Oilers are my second favorite team. First time this season we won two in a row. We gotta keep continuing that. We gotta keep winning more, keep getting more wins in a row. <sighs> I don't know. That sounds like fun when I'm walking. It's like vlogging or whatever. It's fun. Let's so play another great game. Should he be our starter? No. How about let's still be our starter? Jets are being a good team again. I wouldn't be surprised if they go to the Final, maybe. I'm not trying to jinx them, but whatever. And want to know something stupid? You know the movie Smallfoot, right? Yeah, I saw it, like, late September. It was a good movie. They're making a meme of it. Zendaya is Michi. That's stupid. Who cares like, what, who, and they're, who they're playing? That's stupid. Who? Zadea is Michi. That's stupid. Oh. Whoever did, made that meme in the first place, uh, must have been really high on drugs or whatever. Or it must have been really, like, like, fucked in the head or whatever. I don't know. I'd be like saying, uh, ah, uh, Tobey Maguire is Spider Man. Uh, what? Dan Castellan is Homer Simpson. I don't know. I don't think whatever celebrities' voices, whatever. Paul Giamatti is Stan Beals. If you don't know what, who Stan Beals is, the exterminator from the Ant Bully, that's a good movie. I like it. So I'm planning on, make, I'm planning on making review movies in the future. I'll probably do the Ant Bully too. And Stan Beals is the, the exterminator. I'll give you a spoiler. If you haven't seen it yet, his defeat is crazy. So, uh, I'm going to stand here and talk about it. I don't care. So, a beetle and a glowworm climb up into his pant leg. And the beetle bites him in his crotch. He goes, ow! And, um, Zach, Holvar, and Lucas, uh, put the shrinking potion on the wasp stainer. And Lucas, Zach, and Holvar are the main characters. Uh, mostly Lucas's. is. Uh, and there goes, Pucker up, Mr. Beals. And you see him still holding his crotch because it's in pain. And his, a little bit of his ass crack is showing. And, uh, the wasp, um, like, flies, um, to the, his ass. And, uh, he stains him and he goes, Aah! Oh. And he starts shrinking violently and turns into a pinheaded midget. And he starts getting chased by wasps. And he tries to reach to his um, van door, but he couldn't reach it because he's too small. And uh, he steals that tricycle from a driveway and pedals away as he was getting chased by wasps. That was crazy. I remember when I first saw that. It was like January 2009 or whatever, I think. I don't know. I remember, it was at nighttime? Uh, I think my dad was at work, too. We're, my sister and I were watching The Ant Bully. We didn't watch the full movies. We like start from the middle endish, whatever, with the middle of the film, and uh, we when we got to that part, I was freaking out. Like, I don't want that happen to you. I don't know, it just scared me. I wasn't. Oh, well, there's somebody there. It just scared me. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know. That's why I do not want to be an exterminator. And I told like my friends about it, and they probably didn't know what I was talking about. I don't know. Nah, I thought it was cool nowadays.
can't, I don't think it can happen in real life, because obviously you can't, because the drinking potion is made up. That'd be cool, though. I think if that did happen in real life, I think the person who got shrunk would probably die or whatever. That could kill them or whatever. I don't know. Still, I wonder if that happened to anyone in real life. If it had, I feel bad for them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, that was crazy. One of my favorite movie defeats ever. Okay, I'm going to end the vlog here. Might as well go home anyways. I don't know, because my dad doesn't have his phone. He doesn't know what his phone is. And uh, he, he doesn't want me to stay, up too, stay out too late. And I might as well go home now. I'll stop at Tim's, though. Have a good night, everybody.